Hello and uh, welcome to my talk for this week. It's uh, good that you're able to join me and I hope that you're doing well. It's quite surprising what is discovered when cleaning house. As many of you know, the recent sale of Synod Office and Bishop's Court has meant we've had to pack up and move out. One of the places where there was a good deal of work to do was the sunroom at the top of the stairs in 115 Church Street. It seems to have become the place where everything was put in case it was ever needed again. One of the things which came out of there was an old slide projector and four cases of glass slides, all neatly packed in a plastic tote with a note stuck on top saying, Canon L. M. Pepperdine, The Life of Christ. Hymns are also included. Last night I brought all of this home to, just to have a look. Amazingly, the projector still works. It's a beast, and having done a little online research, I'm confident it was manufactured in 1947. The slides are fascinating too. The hymns are all neatly printed out on the glass. The few I read I don't know. Then there are black and white slides portraying the different periods of Jesus' life. I presume there must have been a commentary written to go with them, though there's no sign of that. I've not had the opportunity to do any research into how this equipment was used, so if there's anyone out there with information, I'll be glad to receive it. What I imagine happened, though I don't know, is that Canon Pepperdine travelled from parish to parish, or maybe village to village, showing the slides, perhaps as part of a bigger service, and leading people in hymns. If my date of 1947 is correct, though I think the slides are older, they look Victorian, this would have predated the widespread use of television in New Brunswick. From the 19th century, the Magic Lantern Show was a well-known form of evangelism. Wilson Carlyle, the founder of Church Army in 1882, was one of the earliest exponents of this. I suspect what we have found at Synod Office signals the end of that era, as the wonder of the slideshow faded in the glare of TV. An interesting side note is that Carlyle and his contemporaries were regarded as great innovators as they used slides to preach the gospel. In fact, in England, Church Army eventually expanded into cinema vans, which travelled from place to place to show movies. They had daylight screens to play them on the village green. This continued until the 1960s or 70s. Though when I was a student, I remember meeting Captain Gordon Church, the last of the cinema van officers. The importance of these innovations is that they use the novel things of their time to proclaim the good news. The aim was to tell people about Jesus. Our task is the same. What are the innovations that we need to make to follow in the footsteps of our forebears, like Canon Pepperdine and Wilson Carlyle? Once again, thank you for listening. I trust that you're doing okay in this orange phase. Stay well. God bless.